Hey everyone. Um, Stan had mentioned the other day um, in a comment to one of my posts that he kind of wanted to see a short video about my hive. So I thought I'd give everyone a just a brief overview of this Waré. You can obviously tell it's Waré because of the style, but I um, thought I'd just show you a little bit about it, maybe describe kind of some of my challenges involved in getting this set up and maintaining it, especially since it's in a pretty small backyard in a residential neighborhood in Cyprus on the northwest side of Houston. And there are probably some um, amateur beaks who are wondering if this is possible, and I can say without a doubt that it is. So let me just kind of, kind of give you an overview first of um, my backyard. So um, you can see here I've got, well, got a house there, got one right there. Those people do get out in the yard quite a bit, but they uh, are fascinated with the bees. Actually, everybody's really cool with the idea. Haven't had any problems yet. Those people rarely come out in their yard. This house here never comes out in their yard. Um, and the people over there have a very large yard with a big pool on the other side, so they're almost never on this side. Uh, so every, you know, everybody's perfectly happy with the bees. Uh, I have kind of a feeding station over there in that far corner, but I think the, the main thing is um, I have it in a corner here, so it forces the bees kind of up and out, uh, which is great. I mean, most of my neighbors, you know, they, they do see some bees like in uh, bird baths in the pool, but very few, haven't had any problems whatsoever. So I got these, uh, I, I actually bought the hive, well, I'm by day, I'm a, an IT manager for a large tech company here in Houston, and I kind of bought this hive on a whim somewhat. This was right before the pandemic hit, and some good friends of ours here in town, their son Diego, built several of these for sale, and I just bought one because it was something I had always, always been interested in doing, and then I kind of missed the cutoff for getting a package from Bee Weaver, so it literally sat in our garage for a year. And then I finally, January of this year, I ordered my package well in advance of the, the deadline or when they would run out and got them at the end of April and put them in. And uh, all my neighbors came over and watched, probably secretly hoping I'd get stung, kind of like you, you, you secretly hope you see a car crash and, uh, at, a, at a car race, even though you hope nobody gets killed. But uh, anyway, nothing happened. Uh, non-eventful um, which is good but I, I think let me give you kind of a an overview of the hive first and we'll, we'll open it up I don't know everybody's interested to see inside even though I have posted lots of videos of, of this I have my uh, mandatory sign just so nobody tries to sue me although maybe they could anyway I don't know I haven't gotten to that step yet <clears throat> hopefully they will so I've got it on cinder blocks like a lot of you have I just put a uh, just a, a spare flooring tile that I had in the garage is kind of a pad. I know some people have, on some of my videos and photos, said, man, isn't that thing top heavy? Well, it is, but it's also middle heavy and bottom heavy. The whole thing's heavy. In fact, that, that top alone probably weighs at least 35 pounds. And so when you combine that with, you know, each of those boxes, the, the top two full of comb and honey, I mean, this thing is 150 pounds. It's not going anywhere. I mean, we've had some high winds here in Houston and it, it doesn't budge. I mean, if we get a hurricane, I'll probably strap it down, but, but it's, it's pretty solid. Um, I've got the Guardian entrance on there, which um, seems to be working out fine. I actually tried to block it a little bit the other day, thinking they'd want a smaller entrance, and they pushed that out. So they seem to like these dimensions, so I'm just going to let them do their thing. Um, but I think the, you know, the, um, the Waré is not for everybody. I mean, if I had 20 hives, I would not have Waré's because inspections are messy complicated disruptive uh, i don't do them very often uh, in fact when i remove a box like i'll that top box there which is completely full of honey at this point i'll remove that in the spring whatever they haven't eaten and um, move it to the bottom nadir it as i did in july and you know a lot of times they'll they'll attach the comb down to the the, the bars of the box underneath so i have to run a piece of wire uh, between the boxes uh, to loosen it up, which again is kind of a pain, but you know, that's the way warriors are. And I learned from past mistakes that I, you don't want to just pry it off because you'll, you'll start breaking comb. So it does, it does take a little bit of extra effort to manage this, but, but I, I like it because I love the fact that they're building comb from scratch and, you know, 
they're actually pretty straight. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. There were a lot of horror stories about, you know, wonky comb, as Stan calls it, but I haven't really run into any of that. I mean, I, I, uh, I just take a fillet knife and kind of run it between the columns or the bars, you know, when I get ready to harvest a box, and um, they, they come out pretty easily. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the, the outside of the hive. And I, I've learned, you know, that you really don't need to do a lot of inspections to get a feel for what's going on in there. You can pretty much, from the entrance, you know, see that the hive is healthy. These boxes, I mean, this thing, you tap on it, I mean, it just sounds like it's made of solid wood. I mean, I know it's full because I've already seen it, and this one is pretty full. I'm thinking the queen brood nest probably down in this third box. Probably not a whole lot going on in that fourth one uh, yet, but they'll they'll build that out uh, in the spring once the nectar starts flowing. Uh, but anyway, let me uh, take this top off and let you see inside. Put this down for a second. got the quilt box which I think more Lang owners are starting to use these I've just got it filled with uh, pine shavings that I got from the pet store this is just hamster bedding made sure I got the you know the all-natural stuff with no dyes or chemicals or anything in it seems to be working out okay um, I've kind of loosened this up a little bit make it easier to remove now let me smoke them a little bit more take this off um, so you can see I've got a screened inner cover. I've actually got two. The reason I have two is because um, when I had just the one, they started propolizing the screen to the quilt, uh, which made it extremely difficult to remove. So I added the, the one screen, which also makes it nice because I can take the top off and just get a quick peek in there and see what they're up to without having to fully remove this. And I've got a second, so I, that's why I added the second screen so they don't propolize uh, the screen against the uh, quilt but um, 